Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Hope your week's going well. Mine's not going too good. <laughs> I think I have a sinus infection. Uh, and on top of that, yesterday, <laughs> I released the morning reading video. And later that night... I played it back and found out that I'd released the wrong video. Every morning I make two videos, in a way, I guess you could say. There's the rough draft, and then there's the night's nice, neat finished product. Well, I accidentally released the rough draft yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how I did that. And it had not gotten any comments. And I was like, what? I wonder why. Because <sighs> it was just a rough draft, kind of crappy video, I guess. <laughs> but I guess when you're going to do a daily show, flub ups are going to happen. So. Hopefully I don't have too many of them, but yes, that was a flub up. Anyway, I did release the good version, and it's out there now. Just in case you wanted to know how yesterday went for you. <laughs> anyway, let's get on the roll here, and I'll do another card for today. I'll do a card for today, I should say. Not another, but a card for everyone for today. And then I will give you that replay afterwards. Of yesterday's. Um, notice about the upcoming reading for everyone, which is the deadlines tonight. So if you want any requests, you better get them in. Anyway, hang out till after the reading here and, uh, you can get the details on it then. All right. You have today. Ooh. Today's card is the devil. And this card is associated with the number 15. Astrologically, it corresponds to Capricorn. The element is Earth. The devil is all about the destructive behaviors that keep us tied in bondage. This card carries with it the seven deadly sins. Envy, gluttony, greed, lust, pride, sloth, and wrath. These attributes are more often than not self-inflicted, but the devil can also point to an abusive person in your life, so be sure to keep your guard up. With the devil, the only way to be set free is to break these patterns and begin the healing process. But it can be hard to pull yourself away from the things that give you instant gratification. Remind yourself that you deserve nothing but the best, and if you do the hard work now, the payoff in the end will be great. The devil card is the shadow side of the lover's card, fallen to materialism, greed, and lust. The devil is also a symbol for other negative behavior patterns such as control, dangerous affairs, and addiction. As I said, its symbol is the, in astrology is Capricorn, the goat, um, and it identifies with uh, God Pan and and with Satan. 
and its element is Earth. The planet is Saturn, which was the Roman god of time. And time, like the devil himself, is traditionally the ultimate enemy of man. The devil's Kabbalistic name is Ion, meaning I, and also clear vision, a clue to be vigilant and all-seeing in the devil's presence. On the tree of life, it's placed on the 16th pathway between the mind and beauty and rebirth, which shows us how our insight into a particular situation may just release us from the devil's grip. You may be enslaved to an idea or relationship that demands too much. What started positively or even pleasurably has reversed, and now you are seeing a situation for what it is. This is a destructive situation, and you may be feeling controlled and under a bad influence. This is a card of greed, temptation, and materialism. Yet to change the situation, you will need to think laterally and use a little cunning. It's never worth confronting the problem, as the negativity is endemic. Hence, the devil card often appears to describe situations that are not worth trying to fix or heal. The message is to simply walk away to escape in the best way you can, regardless of the temptation of staying. The devil often arrives in a relationship reading to show lust and negative ways of re relating, in that one partner is gaining much more than the other. By extension of this, additional meanings of the devil are addiction, issues with sex, food, substance abuse, and overall negative thinking patterns. Some other specifics, however, include the following. Home. Here, the devil may indicate living with domineering people or dealing with a difficult landlord. Psychic vampires and generally negative people may drain your energy. You may feel controlled and invaded just now. In relationships, difficult relationships are indicated here, such as controlling partners, lust over love situations, affairs, and codependent patterns. For, separate, for separated partners, the devil may show financial dependency or other ongoing money or property issues that keep you tied to the past. For career and money, you're experiencing bad financial contracts, careers that are unsatisfying, domineering bosses, or a toxic work environment, but you stay because you are financially trapped. And the key words with this card are bondage, addiction, seduction, sex, vices, codependency, enslavement, passion, overindulgence. Wow. And that card saying, you can't have no fun. All right. So there you go. The devil. Uh, but in spite of pulling the devil, I hope you all have a blessed day. Before I leave, here's that uh, little bit I played yesterday about the drawing. Tonight's the, the cutoff point. Tonight at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So please have your request in by then. And roll it. It's that time of month again. I will be doing the readings. So, if you would like a reading, here's what you have to choose from. I'm offering up four different types of tarot card readings. Number one, the Thoth. Number two, the Tarot of Wonderland. Number three, the Tarot 13. Go figure. And number four is the ones like I, I read today, the Antique Anatomy Tarot. Okay, now for Oracle cards, I'm offering Past Life Oracle cards, 
Whispers of Love, Archangel Oracle Cards, Madame and Dora's Fortune Cards, and Moonology Oracle Cards. And lastly, I'm offering uh, a rune reading. And I have the Witch's Runes and my regular Elder Futhark Runes. And that's, that's the runes I read most often. But, uh, yeah, just write down the number of the card you want. Or rune. One reading per person, please. And uh, the... Shut off time for, for this will be tomorrow night at midnight Eastern time. So please have your requests in by then. If you want a reading, just put your name down in the comment section below on this page. It's got to be on the YouTube page. So under your name, just write uh, the name of the card you want or rune or... The number, the number is fine. It's easiest. And then I will try to get that video out to you in the following day or so. So thank you for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow and I'll have those readings out ASAP. Um, peace. Believe. Have a blessed Wednesday. And bye-bye.